Okay, this is the introduction to a game called Barlev, which is uh, by Compass Games. It's a re-implementation of a game that was uh, produced in 1973. Um, problem with this one is it's got a lot of issues. We'll go straight to the point. There are three pages of errata for the uh, game. There are errata on the counters, on the maps, on the setup charts, on the player aids. Uh, in the rule book and in the playbook so that's pretty much it well it is it's everything everything has got a certain number of errata in it other things is it's it's, it's got a reputation for being a, a beast set up as it comes out of the box and that's due to the fact that there are nearly 2,000 counters now those counters, a lot of them you're not going to use because there's just breakdown counters for everything. Uh, all your brigades and your artillery battalions can all break down into, into companies and uh, sorry, artillery regiments can break down into battalions and uh, brigades can break down to companies. So there's lots and lots of... Um, granulation which you might not want to use and that creates a huge amount of uh, counters a lot of them you're not gonna you're not want to gonna worry want to worry about but you're forced by the setup uh, and the way everything's um, supposed to be put on onto the map into various boxes and everything that you're forced to face this massive level of complexity um, when it might not be something you're going to play with. One of the things is the actual, the way the counters are marked. You see these red bands, you think, oh, all right, every, every not in most normal games, the, the, you think, oh, the red band, that, that must designate the division. Well, it doesn't, it designates the brigade. The important thing are the two little bars above the main band, well, above and below the main band. They actually tell you what division it's in. Uh, that's really counterintuitive and caused me a lot of problems. Now, one thing I will say that uh, the guy who actually produced this has addressed a lot of questions and issues on the uh, board game geek site so he, he, he's, he's tried to help out as much as he can but uh, there are quite a lot of ambiguities in the rules and things like that particularly on things like these non-playable um, hex areas along the canal um, there's a lot of issues how the combat all works um, there's people address some of this and they've, they've produced uh, extended um, sequence of plays and, and some sort of um, player aids to help with the uh, the way the combat actually works now that's as far as I'm going to go with an introduction I'm, I'm a bit nervous about this I've got a bad a bad initial impression and it's going to take a bit of a bit for this game to recover from that um, anyway that'll do